how a UFI driver model look like. First of all, to understand that we have to talk about how uh, UFI specifications see um, modern computing system. So UFI view the system as a set of one or more uh, processors connected to one or more uh, core chipsets. So we can see that we have some CPU, uh, which is connected to some Nord bridge or, or some chipset. Uh, then we have a bus, some bus which connects USB, um, ATA, VGA, and we hide behind those uh, um, USB controller, we have USB bus behind ATA, uh, we have ATA bus and so on and so on. And further after that, we have um, devices. So core chipsets are responsible for producing one or more IO buses. So we can see that uh, North, North Bridge, in this case, produce PCI bus, USB produce USB bus, and so on. Um, and uh, the UFI driver model describes buses um, and, and concentrate mostly on the communication over, over some buses. It does not describe processors or chipsets because this is more like a, a role of the vendor of given uh, processor of, or, or chipset. So UFI is more about what this communication method for those components than, more, than, than what should be inside those components and how, how, do, how those components work. So in other, uh, in other words, UFI specifications see um, a modern computing system as a tree of buses and devices with core chipsets as a, as a root of tree. So core chipset in this case is in North Bridge. Uh, what other thing we can see here on this diagram is that the yellow rectangles are devices. So we can see that uh, every device controller is connected um, through, through some bus, either directly through to North Bridge uh, uh, chipset or through some other controllers uh, like USB, ATA, or probably many other controllers.